Okay, well, <clears throat> since that revival thing's going on, it just sounds um, unusual, and um, I can't see what's reviving there. <clears throat> revival usually means, um, I suppose, people getting baptised and brought into the church, and people that were never weren't normally godly started being godly or coming to God. Uh, I think this is pretty much people that were already godly uh, going back in here, but uh, but anyway, whatever. I, I sort of like it. But what I did notice is when this lady was doing the interview thing there, I thought that looks like fangs. I've seen that somewhere before, and these wings on the outside here. Um, and then I've noticed the the Masonic pillar. So you've got the two pillars and these are always in Masonic places or or things of that nature. So yeah, I started looking into it. So there you go. You've got your your pillars here right up on the stage. This is the one that they're all worshipping on. Um, so I've had a look in the past there. They had some lady there, Jeannie Brabham um, and there was a revival sparked by her. Um, she's interesting. She uh, was working in a prison later on um, as a missionary. Um, I think she's catholic -y or something. She probably still does the worship Mary thing, I suspect. Um, but yeah, she's done a lot of good stuff anyway. And... Uh, she said something about it. According to Journey's testimony, the the Shekinah glory fell. All right, so I was okay. Well, what's that? So, as it says up here, um, the word Shekinah does Shekinah does itself does not appear in the Bible. The word Shekinah or Shekinah glory is only found outside of the Bible in rabbinic Jewish scholar manuscripts. All right. So in the new temple, it basically means glory of the Lord. All right. So <clears throat> the New Testament mentions glory of the Lord. Okay. So she says the glory of the Lord fell. I'm not sure how his glory fell, but uh, anyway, it was interesting. So it's like the front of the building got the pillars and the triangle and the eye in the center sort of thing uh, however you want to look at it there's another picture of the the hall that they're in there um, yeah another one of their buildings got a few like this all with the same thing pillars <clears throat> you can say that's the design of the times but yes it was definitely the design of the times uh, the way they built Masons built stuff. Um, here's a better picture of this one. You, I think you can walk in behind that sort of thing. So I noticed those teeth looking thingies before. You see here at a different angle. That's the teeth. You see the eyes here. And these wings here sort of reminded me of of, of those the ones in the background or these ones here. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, th this is the Pope's um, church. This is right next to the main main one, right near the Vatican and that. This uh, this is his main church. He, this is him looking out from the podium. That's his backdrop um, that sits behind him. Uh, this thing here with the snake coming out one side and the Lord stuck on the other or supposed to be the Lord I don't know what it's supposed to be it's a pretty horrible looking thing but anyway yeah if you want to see that sort of stuff just type in Vatican snake you'll find it um, <clears throat> yeah so went looking more on the this is another one there the Masonic sort of uh, stuff that's a Mason Mason Lodge. If you look here, this is one of their uh, symbolism thingies, and 
You always wonder why he's doing this. Right, Alistair Crowley. That's the two pillars. There's his triangle. <laughs> it just dawned on me then. I didn't actually get it until I seen that. Uh, so, yeah. And you see here. Two pillars. In the middle. Whatever that is. Whoever that is. The probably Queen Mother of Heaven. Who knows. Um... <clears throat> Yeah, so there's that, those things there. So I thought that was interesting. Here's another one. Capilla, Capilla, Triangle. So, uh, yeah, I'd just be suspect of, of um, revivals that are broadcast on mainstream media news. That's the bit that made me nervous. I'm like, why, why are all the mainstream media is getting on this? CBS or whatever, and all those sort of ones. Why, why, why are they promoting it? There must be some agenda. So if they're promoting it, then I'm, it, it would be bad. <laughs> That's the way I look at it. I just don't trust them. There's just no point in trusting them. There's always some sort of hidden agenda behind them. So yeah, that's my view anyway. God bless.